Well, the first thing you don't do is you don't short these stocks. Um, you're seeing a rotation. The rotation occurred in the middle of February through the early part of March out of momentum names into the Wall Street bet Reddit type names like you're mentioning AMC and GameStop. The same thing is occurring now as cryptocurrencies are unwinding some of the excessive leverage. Money's moving back in. But, Andrew, let's not think that this is just all retail traders. This is institutional money. This is hedge funds. They're participating on the long side. And I don't think you fight it. And I, I'll tell you this. I watched Jim Cramer last, last evening. I think Jim's right. The question now becomes, where else do they target stocks? Do they go to Beyond Meat, which has a 24 percent short interest? Do they look at Roblox, which is trading incredibly strong? I think ultimately that they do. But you absolutely you don't short these stocks. OK, so if you don't, but I want to go back to the comment you just made. And we were just talking to JJ, obviously, about the mm -hmm. retail customer. But let's talk about the, this institutional hedge fund customer that you think is trading this stock. Mm -hmm. what, tell me what the conversation is behind the scenes. When you talk to some of your friends uh, on the street, in the trading community that are playing this, what do they tell you that they're thinking? They're thinking that volatility has declined significantly. Therefore, they could seek the leverage that they're not going to be getting from the traditional broker dealers. You and I both know that leverage was pulled back significantly after this first experience. So volatility's come down. They could explore leverage in other derivatives. And clearly, the algorithms right now are recognizing the price momentum. They're attracted to it. And they are utilizing that momentum to align positions accordingly from the long side. But they think this is a trade. Do they, they think this is a trade or they trade. think it's actually a fundamental it's a investment? It's a trade. Oh, my God. No. Fundamental, in fundamental investment? I'm just no. asking. This is a because trade. you go on Reddit, you go on Reddit <laughs> and there's a lot of folks out there who talk about this as if they are fundamental investors and that they are going long to the moon, as we know. Uh, with GameStop because they believe in the future of GameStop. And I'm not telling anybody not to believe in the future of GameStop, but of course there's a question of what the valuation of the future of GameStop will ultimately be. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the price of the moon actually is. Let me know when we, uh, we realize that so I know when we reach it that there'll be sellers. But the, the, the fundamental story here is all about Ryan Cohn. You know, what, what, are, what are the plans for, what is Ryan Cohn going to be doing with this company? I mean, Andrew, can you walk in the store and do anything other than buy the hardware which you could buy at another big box retailer? What, what product am I actually purchasing well, from GameStop? There are so, these no, conversations it's not about, the about whether they're. Well, there's a conversation. I mean, look, I don't know what they're going to do. There's speculation about NFTs and the like, creating their own and trying to build an ecosystem around that. I, I don't know how that would work, um, but uh, but we'll that's see. but that's that's that's. That's exploring the creativity of Ryan Cohn, and I'm yes. not betting against Ryan Cohn, but the 